Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and we are continuing on with video three of the low pressure gas line sizing. Now, throughout this video, we're going to be referencing the gas code, which is the B149.1 natural gas and propane installation code. We're going to continue on from the last two videos using this same example where we have a longest measure run of 72 feet, and that was to the gas fireplace, and a total BTU load of 147,000. 500 BTUs. I am presently using the 2015 gas code. If yours is newer, the page numbers might not line up, but for the 2015 code, table A1 is on page 116. That's where we're going to start. You're going to notice table A1 has two portions. One is metric and one is imperial. We're going to be working off of the imperial tables. Now every single one of these tables has a really good title. Table A1 says maximum capacity of natural gas in thousands of BTUs an hour for SCED 40 pipe and plastic pipe, including fittings, for pressures of less than 7 inches water column based on a pressure drop of 0.5 inches water column. Now there's many tables and all of them have a very similar title. What you'll notice that changes though is the pressures and the pressure drop. Make sure you're in the right table for what we're doing. Most of the time, and including the example we're going to go through, we're going to turn the page and go to table A2, where we're going to notice the maximum pressure drop is 1 inch water column for pressures 7 to 14 inches of water column. So if you flip all the way to page 130, you're going to see that we get to table A8. Table A8 starts to reference copper tubing, and right through the rest of the tables will be copper tubing at this point. They are sized differently than iron pipe. Let's flip a little bit further until we get to page 151. We will find table B1. The B tables are exactly the same as the other tables except for their fur propane. Propane is heavier than natural gas and burns differently than natural gas, so they have their own tables. So let's turn to page 118 in the code book, which is table A2. We are running seven inches of water column through our gas line, which will be black iron. And we're gonna have a one inch water column drop. Our previous example had a longest measured run of 72 feet. So let's look down on the left hand column, length of pipe in feet. We're gonna notice there is no 72 foot zone there, but there's a 60 and an 80. Well, we're above 70, so let's go to the 80 foot code zone. Now, if I go across to the right, I will see 74. And if I look up at the top of that column, it says half inch pipe. What this means is half inch black iron pipe on an 80 foot code zone will give me 74,000 BTUs. The furnace from our previous example was 88,000 BTUs. So if I go down to the 80 foot code zone and I go across, half inch was only good to 74,000, but three quarter inch is good to 154,000 BTUs. That should be adequate. So that's the size of pipe I want to use for my furnace. My hot water tank though was only 40,000 BTUs. So where the pipe heads off and goes to the hot water tank need only be half inch because that's good to 74,000 BTUs. And also the natural gas fireplace was only 19,500 BTUs. So the pipe heading off to there can be half inch as well. That'll be totally fine. There's only two more lengths of pipe that we really need to focus on. There's one piece of pipe that serves both the hot water tank and the furnace. That was 128,000 BTUs, because we just combined their inputs. And once again, three quarter inch pipe on the 80 foot code zone is good for 154,000. So that's adequate. And the last length of pipe is the one that goes all the way out to the meter. That is everything combined, which is 147,500 BTUs. If we look at the table under the 80 foot code zone, it's telling me once again on three quarter inch, I am good to 154,000 BTUs. So I'm happy. I can do that in three quarter inch. So once you've found your longest measured run, you're going to use that for every single piece of pipe in your sizing. Just choose the right table and away you go. Have yourself a great day.